Oh, welcome to Time with Kevin. This is Coach Kephart, the new head girls basketball coach. So, um, the first question I ask everybody is, who is the hardest person you're about to play against? The hardest college. person I had, like just in pickup? Yeah, just Johnson. wherever, yeah. I think the hardest person I'd ever play against would be Malcolm Johnson. They called him Bug from Lock. Yeah, he's okay. he's the, the best player, I think, to come out of Lock. And he was, everybody looked up to him, so. Yeah. He's really tough. Six five two guard. He's really good. Yeah, and um, so you went to Lawton Mac, right? Yes. Where did you graduate? I graduated ninety nine. Ninety nine. So how was it? Ago. How was the sports kind of like back then? Like how? Really, really good. Yeah. We we had a real like Mac had a real good run, just being really good. But all the Lawton schools, I think I think it was like ninety three that I didn't have like the mythical national championship team mm -hmm. football wise, and you know all the basketball teams were really good at that time. We went from my freshman to senior, I think we went to state three times. So we never could quite seal the deal, but we, we had some really good teams. Eisenhower was really good. Lawton High basketball was a little down at that time, but they had been really good in the past. So sports were really good in Lawton. Still yeah. good in Lawton, obviously. Yeah. Um, so. Dang, so like describe like your just high school experience, just like everything. Like just sports, everything. Just sports, uh, everything. I was school. so ate up with basketball. I wish I would have been a little bit more well-rounded, but I just, I was basketball 24-7, just basketball, basketball, and just, um, it was, sports were so different at that time, you know, ninth grade. When you were in high school, you were in high school in ninth grade, correct? Yeah. Uh, when I was in high school and when Joe Coach Lockhart, Coach McGuire, all those people, at the school I was at, at MacArthur, you, it was 10th, 11th, and 12th. You mm -hmm. didn't come to high school. So I had to play down to 7th, 8th, and 9th. You couldn't come up and play high school until you were in ninth grade. Dang, that's great. So I had to finish my whole season and I only got to play like five games. I don't know, I think I played like five games and then went to state with him mm -hmm. my freshman year. We like I, I I they couldn't it was illegal to play high school ball until you finished your ninth grade season. Dang, that's crazy. So yeah, I had to finish my ninth grade season and when I got there I started playing right away but uh, and I got to play in the state tournament and everything, but I wish I could have had that. You know, you only got three years really to get your, your yeah, numbers in there. Yeah. So it was a lot different in that way. So, and yeah, I don't know, you've been watching The Last Dancing. Yeah. So, you know, they talked about how physical it was, and I'm not saying we were NBA players or anything, but that you could hand check a lot more then. So it's just a lot different how every other game was played. Everything is so. now. Yeah, so you went to Oklahoma Christian. I did. I went to Cameron for two years, actually. Cameron, two years. And then I went to uh, Oklahoma Christian, yep. So how was that? Like, how was um, Cameron, how was we had a really good... Uh, yeah, actually, um, when I was at Cameron my first year, went really good. I was freshman of the year. At one point, I was leading the nation in scoring, and then it just kind of dipped a little bit. Uh, but we had a good season, and we came back my sophomore year, and we were doing really good. And then about halfway through the year, I got mono. So I got really sick, but at the time, helping us was uh, Sam Lockhart was actually one of the assistant coaches at that time, so okay. he was helping us. And we, we had a really good team, had some good players, and then I just got a really good, I, I don't know, if I look back, I might have stayed, you know, two more years, because we had a good thing going, but I got a chance to play at Oklahoma Christian, so that was right. pretty cool. Right, so and how was Oklahoma Christian? Man, how, like, how was it different from? Dan you know? Hayes was, is, my high school coach, Kevin Harrington, is a super awesome coach. I, I love playing for him. Dan Hayes is very good coach. I mean, he was a player's coach. He, he, I got to play. I would usually start the game with the two and finish at the one, and he was just wide open. Offensive coach, let it fly. Spread, mm -hmm. spread the court four out, shoot a lot of threes. Yeah. He's probably one of my favorite coaches of all time. I always tell the story about him. We would always go to the Church of Christ Church uh, when I was in college because it's a Church of Christ school. And one time I was sitting behind him in church, and he was just like writing notes, like furious. God, this guy's into the sermon. I look over and he just draw plays. Oh, wow. He had all kinds yeah. of plays drawn. He's an unbelievable coach. I learned a lot about basketball yeah. from him. Great coach. Yeah. So, like, what made you want to get like into coaching? Um, you know, I really didn't plan on it to be honest with you. Uh, when I graduated from Oklahoma Christian, uh, I got an agent at the time, and I went and played in the Philippines for about two or three months in Manila, and then I kind of bounced around, went to England, Spain, some different places like that. And uh, England was really fun. Spain was fun. So I played as us three seasons. And in between, I want to say England and Spain, I got in a car wreck. A lady ran a stop sign and hurt my knee. And so I went and played that season in Spain. I had a really good season, but my knee was really bothering me a lot. And uh, before I went to Arkansas, before I went back to Spain, after Spain, actually, after Spain, I had knee surgery, like a microfracture surgery. Because it busted up some cartilage, and I had been on 
offered to go back to Spain, and I thought it would be better to go to Arkansas, mm -hmm. and stay in the States. I went there and played. And uh, that year, was, it, was a, it was a fun year. It was good, but I was just kind of winding down. I met my future wife, Brooke, at the time, and I was, I don't think, coming up at 26, 27. Uh, maybe 28, and I just thought, you know what? It'd be better just to kind of get, get find a career, and I yeah. decided to get into coaching. I volunteer coach at Mac and finished my master's. And said, you know, I had some positive influences, so I decided to yeah. kind of get into coaching. I was, gonna, I was gonna ask you about like the differences of like playing overseas and everything. Like, um, I like that was gonna be yeah, different. I'm burning up in here. I'm trying to air. Oh uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, Are you hot? <laughs> I'm hot. Uh, I think one of the the biggest differences. Is the shot clock obviously? Yeah, you have a 24 second yeah. shot clock. So, um, you the time you bring the ball down, there's you know, there's 16 seconds to shoot. So, you you just everything's really quick. You're getting shots up, you have sets really quick, quick hitters, pick and rolls. That's a lot different. So, everything changes. That's a big difference. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you're playing with really good players, everybody can shoot, everybody can score. And for me, playing overseas, the most fun I had in England, probably, but probably the hardest part for me was. Uh, language barrier when I was in Spain I couldn't speak the language and the Philippines I couldn't speak the language and when I was in the Philippines uh, the Asian I got was actually Filipino it's, it's a weird story my, my mom my mom's mom she met my grandpa in World War II my mom's mom was Filipino so they were trying to get me on a citizenship oh. so called. I was signed by a team but they didn't want to waste you only get two American players per team mm -hmm. so they didn't want to waste uh, that spot, so they were really trying hard to get my citizenship. My mom was the only one who wasn't born in the Philippines. All She has three brothers and sisters, and they were all born in the Philippines, and she was born in the United States, so they were trying They were trying to find out a way to get my citizenship through all that paperwork, and they, they couldn't quite get it, so I was over there practicing, and they had put me up in a hotel for like three or four months, but I wasn't I wasn't getting to play a game, so I ended up, you know, it was hard on me because we didn't have FaceTime, we had Facebook, right, all that right, stuff. Right. You know what I mean? You're overseas yeah. now. If you go over there, you can still communicate and talk yeah. to people. But we didn't have all that stuff, so yeah. it was hard on me. Did, did you ever like learn a language eventually? I, did, I learned a little bit of Spanish, but everything I learned is gone. But all I know is cuss words. Now. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, one of the funny. cool things when I was in the Philippines, you know, I, I, I didn't ever know what to order. I was always struggling getting the correct food to get to order. And I remember they had a McDonald's over there, and I'd go buy like. 30 cheeseburgers for like a dollar fifty. Yeah. And I just stack them in the fridge and I eat those and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. It's not, yeah, it's like $30 now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what are some of the challenges, like challenges of like coaching and stuff? Like, that, like what's some of the biggest challenges you think? Uh, I think for me when I first started coaching uh -huh. uh, is I didn't pay enough attention to because when I played, some stuff came easy and you just expect people to pick it to up. To get it, yeah. I think teaching them the little thing, doing the fundamental stuff that you did when you were younger, you didn't realize that you were having to do. I think that was a big thing uh, to pick up that stuff and learn that stuff. So yeah. that's hard to get trains like that to other people. Yeah. I don't know. What about you? Do you think you think you're going to get into coaching someday? Uh, probably not. No? I don't think so. Everybody says I should. I don't know. I might, if I, if I get older, maybe like a little AAU team. Just something mm -hmm. like for fun, like around here or wherever I stay, you know. But I, I don't think I'll actually be like at a high school or anything. <laughs> you I'm burning up, up man. Put me in the hot seat. I'm about to yeah, go. I don't think. Uh, I don't think. I don't know. I never really thought about it much, really. But do you like? Like, is it like? I love it. Like, I love coach. For me, I'm very competitive. Yeah. And as you get older, you can't. Like, I would love to go play. Like every day, I don't have time because I have two girls and a wife, and you have other responsibilities. But I just can't physically. Your body hurts, and so that keeps you close to the game. I yeah. think it's. I think there's nothing like it. It's just fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy, but. Coaching, I don't know. That's a lot. That's just I a think lot you of pressure. That's a lot of pressure. Uh, yeah. Game planning, staying yeah. up all night. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's time consuming, and you know, your family has to sacrifice, and you put yeah. a lot of time into it. But then the fun part comes the games. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I was always a player who liked practice. I enjoyed practice. I yeah. loved putting that time in. That was fun to me. Yeah. The camaraderie. I think that's, and you'll probably find someday when you get out of playing, um, you can play. Because you got many years, even if you quit playing in college, when you get done with college, you'll be playing, doing whatever, playing pickup. The games are fun, but I think I miss the camaraderie yeah. with the players, yeah. so to speak, like spending that time in the locker room, you know, you put all that work in with players. Right. So doing like, all that work. So, like, what 
So like what like what do you look for like as a coach or just anybody like like, like what do you what, mean like like what do you like look for in a player like to be like oh I really want to like coach him I really think I can help him like what are some like the biggest things to you I think when you find players that uh, work really hard in practice and really put that time in and just have a I think I love players that have a passion for the game like I have you can mm. just sense it who just we're gonna put in that time get after it, and then just enjoy the game. You can tell when people are having fun playing yeah. the game. They're just, just fun to watch. It's just yeah. fun to watch good players like that. You, you know, as an analysis, you you were having fun on the court, but yeah. you're all killing the same yeah. time. <laughs> but you look for players that have a passion and, and just kind of just that joy on the court. Yeah. So talk a little bit about last year's team and kind of how like the season went to The you. boys' team? Yeah, the boys' team. I thought we really had a good year. I think we... We didn't. We had some, un, you know, unfortunate events, and some we didn't have. We, we we had different people didn't didn't play, and you know, Bladen hurt his foot. Yeah. And then he came back, and I thought he he really sold out for the team playing when he was hurt. And I thought that was awesome of him. But we had some some tough injuries and stuff, and we had guys battle through. Got a lot of experience. I think that's one thing that was hard to. I'm excited about taking the girls' job. I think they're gonna have a, the boys are gonna have a really good. Yeah, good season yeah, this year. Yeah. I think they, they put the work in last year. They laid the foundation for this year to be yeah. a good season. Yeah, that's I, I, I wish I could have went to some more games, but obviously being in Kansas, I would just have to watch on YouTube or something. What, like the, what was the biggest adjustment for you coming from high school to college? Probably either the shot clock. That was a big one at mm -hmm. first. I Is it like, still, still 30 30 seconds, yeah, 30, 30, 30, 30, yeah, yeah, 30. 30. And uh, probably that, and probably just the speed and physicality, just mm -hmm. every, you know, because playing against 16, 17, 18 year olds, uh -huh. you know, then playing against 20, 20 yeah. 22, 23, 24 mm -hmm. year olds, and it's just so, they're mm -hmm. bigger, and they're, you know, you gotta, because I went from one of the biggest players on the court last year to, mm -hmm. I was one of the smaller ones, so I have to just kind of Did, develop, Could you, you tell know. that, I know when I was at Cameron, we would play in the fitness center before season, mm -hmm. and you know, I was a new guy, and they, were, I was, they said, you're gonna start, but guys were soon juniors, sophomores, Seniors, they were like, you're not gonna take this spot either. And they just, we just would, just got super physical, just playing pickup. That's how I was there, yeah. Because like we, everybody's trying to set, get there. Yeah, as soon as we got there, the first day, the first day we got there, I went to the gym and shot. Mm -hmm. I was like, I used to the goals, this and the third. Yeah. So we played, and then I think the next couple of days, people started coming in. And they were like, oh, like, because like they were excited about the freshman group coming uh -huh. in. They was like, oh, so they went at us every like the older mm -hmm. upper class went at us yeah. every day. And then the coaches were up there watching. It was just it felt like a real like games whenever we were just messing trying to get a feel for each other. I think that's the big difference in college too. Is even though when I was up on Christian, we were really tight. We had a really tight knit group, but you just it's very competitive. No, it's you not, can like kind of sense like yeah. Quite as, it's it's like I miss the high school yeah. camaraderie. It's part, a different. You know. It's a different. Uh, it's a different vibe in college. It's a different. Because everybody's still trying to play and get over you. Like in the high school, you know, you kind of got the starters. You yeah. kind of got who will play. You kind of know, like, you're kind of spot on the rotation. Yeah. But like, in college, you're always trying to just. Yeah, I was very competitive. Get over somebody, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. So, um, would you uh, would you ever coach, like, in a college? Would you would you eventually, like, later, uh, like way later on? Would you I, ever? I don't know if I have that, that. I mean, yeah, something came up, but I don't know if I have that's That's in my future. I, I, I really enjoy the high school level. Yeah. I enjoy. I just, it feels like the, just the passion of it. I don't yeah, know, it seems like college is yeah. even kind of getting more to that business side. Yeah, you, yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? even, yeah, even at the high level. Yeah. yeah, and I just enjoy that passion. I've got my, you know, I've got my, my master's in administration. I got two master's when I was in administration. And uh, eventually down the road, I think I'll try to go the administrative route. That's a goal of mine. Uh -huh. I have my principal certification, but I really enjoy coaching. I enjoy teaching, and I just... I think it's rare you can find something that you you love to do, and yeah. I'm glad I'm glad I'm doing something I like. Doing. Right, because I had positive influences yeah. in high school. Coach Anderson was such a positive influence on me, uh, and, and I had some good teachers who were positive influences. So that's that's what I try to do. Yeah, and teaching. So how's that? Like, is that I, I love teaching. Teaching in the classroom is fun. I mean, some days are just like any other job can be a little little hard and I uh, teach math so I don't, nobody really wants to, oh, to do yeah. math most of the time but I yeah. really enjoy teaching mm -hmm. so it's fun to me I, I enjoy I, I'm hoping we get to back to normal everything it's, yeah. it's good to go what uh, what subject are you like? I did algebra 1 and algebra, algebra 2 algebra 1 is so cool <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what everyone says in my yeah. classes so Man, have you ever heard of Malcolm Johnson? Did you? Mm, yeah, yeah, I worked out with him actually I think, you, last summer twice. Did yeah. you really? Down yeah. in Rush Springs? No, he came to Duncan. Yeah, really? Yeah, we went up a couple times. Yeah, but then yeah. stuff kind of got hectic. Did you ever call him Bug? 
Mm, I don't even know. I, you know I didn't really know him. I didn't really know him like that. Big strong guy. Yeah, I don't, oh, yeah. He was. Everybody yeah. called him. Uh, I heard he was everybody really called good. him Junebug or Bug. Yeah. I don't know why my feet ate Junebugs when he was little. I don't know <laughs> what that story is, but he was really, really good. There's something happened. Uh, he went to TC. He went to Seminole. He was like 54 or something. And he ended up going to TCU, and he had a really. He was playing for Billy Tubbs, who used to be the coach at U and. I think the year he would have got drafted in the NBA, they had a strike, so they didn't have a draft or something. And he ended up going to CBA, and he, he was, you know, Stacy King. Everybody talks about Stacy yeah, King. Stacey He's King. out of Lawton, but uh, I never got to see him play. I just always saw Bug, and yeah. that's everybody my age is like thought Bug was the best thing ever. So yeah, yeah, he's really. So if you're watching, yeah, I'll shout him. I got his number. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I still got his number. <laughs> hey, watch this, Hey, So. What like what kind of was like your role in the team? Like what did you really like when really I was in, in high school? school. Yeah. Um, well, I'm sure if you asked anybody, they would definitely not say passing. <laughs> <laughs> they would say I, I was a scorer. I was, you know, everybody thinks that I was just a three point shooter, but you know, I did shoot threes, but threes weren't near as big as they are now. now. So you were more like a two, like a two. Yes, yeah, so I was a two, okay. and I was more of a, but I handled the ball a lot, so. Because I went to college, I played the one and the two, and then when I finally played professionally, I was a point guard. Mm. But I was just a scorer. I, I, could, I would get a lot of my points by driving and slash a lot of pull-ups. I really like to shoot the pull-up. Um, I tried. Too, yeah. Jordan was my favorite player, so you know he had that real good yeah. you know, dribble hard pull-up. Yeah. I wasn't dunking or anything like that, but he was. I really emulated the pull-up game. I like to pull-up. I like to slash. Yeah. yeah uh, sounds about. Like and I wish, I wish I would have emulated. I really liked. As I got older, Steve Nash the game. I thought yeah. his game. I think he saw the floor so well, passed so well. Uh, but the game was just so different. Yeah. Like their threes were only if you were wide open. Right, 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 right. So, now you can just throw them up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's because at Tabor, I was. They kind of had me at the two, three, mm-hmm. and the four. Scott I guess Gibbon I thought slash down. Yeah, kind of just yeah. Especially like when I red shirted, you know, in that practice, they was like, "Hey, run the two or five. I can't run the mm-hmm. three. Hey, you gonna be the four? You know what I'm saying? I was just yeah. the guard. It, it helped, you know. But it was just. You know, I, I would take the ball down a little bit, but it was just so, like, I don't like doing it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I can do it, but I really just like kind of getting on the wing, driving, you know. What, what about uh, like academically? Was it that hard to transition from college to yeah, high school? Yeah, the first, yeah, because I've been, I, I swear, I probably didn't do homework in my whole <laughs> high school. Like, I never did homework. Mom said, yeah. like, you don't have homework, you don't have anything. Really I, I think it's just a lot more work. That's yeah, right. when we first crazy. got there, we was doing quizzes and exams. So I'll never forget the first exam we did for my psychology class. They were like, you need to study or whatever. <laughs> and I was like, you know, in high, you know, they said that in high school. You just like, show, yeah. yeah. And we got there that Friday, and then we took it. I had no idea what was going on. I got like yep. a 50 on it, and I was like, what? Yeah, <laughs> I, was I, like, I don't know anything. My about. freshman year, it was a grow-up period. You're just like, wait a minute. I, yeah. do, I, should, I should do work? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I do work. I was doing work last night. Too. Are you taking classes right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got we have this week's wrapping up, obviously. And then Where we are you, have you next taking week. the camera right now, just online? No, yeah, no, we're still doing our table. We're still doing oh, our so, table. So yeah. that's, I keep forgetting. Because we, we had two months off of Christmas break. Oh, okay. Nobody else does that. Do they do that. trimesters? How they do it? Mm-mm, mm-mm. They just, you just get longer yeah. off for Christmas yeah. break. Yeah. So, it's, just, just, it's just for athletes. Cameron just finished up a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's yeah, it's just athletes uh, go for the Christmas break time for to get like credits and stuff. That's smart. Yeah, and so because they're, they're usually all behind, so that's why. Then, so if you don't play sports, you have two months. But we have like no, we can play Oklahoma months. Christian. If you go to at Matthew, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. no, they're still in our division one. Okay, yeah, well, they might scrimmage them, but I mean they play like USAOs, OCU's, right. Langston's, people like that. Um, I Bob Hoffman, I think, coaches at UCO now. He coached me my last year in the ABA, mm-hmm. and that was that was an experience just because. We had Darian Selby, he played at OU, Qantas White, uh, Todd Day, who played in the NBA for several seasons, and he's like, I think he's Arkansas University's all-time leading scorer. Hey. Uh, he's there now, and that was, I had just come off knee surgery, and that, probably that was the first time ever in my career where I just I just couldn't do a lot. I mean, I was trying to work my way back in shape, and yeah. I just took... Hoffman used to give me the business at every practice where you can, you not do anything right, blah, blah, blah. so I didn't play very much the first half of the season. I worked really hard and I worked in the rotation a little bit, but that was just a talented team. Yeah. And by the end of the year, I think I was we were getting ready to go to the playoffs. We had the best record 
in the ABA, and then it just uh, we had like one game left in the playoff start. And we went to practice one day, and they just said we folded. Yeah. So it was over. They just the team just folded. So we didn't uh, get to finish. I think we would have won yeah. the championship that year. But that was really good players and a really good experience. And that was my last year. But uh, Bob Laughlin's a really good coach. Was uh, was it hard, like, kind of stepping away from it when you kind of realized, like, that, oh, man, yeah. I'm probably done? Or, like, did it's, you still want to be like, I can do one more? You know what I mean? I think it's hard to, for for me, for my competitive side. And that's why coaching has been so good for me. Mm-hmm. And I think that's why it was tough for me coaching right away because you, you're still so close to the game. Yeah. When they're playing, like, wait a minute, I'm going to go do this. Right. This is how you do it now. I, could, I can't do that. So it's a little easier to to coach but yeah I think it was hard for me at first and I just I just am a competitor and I like to play but physically you know my knees and stuff wouldn't let yeah. me do some of that stuff though. Yeah, I've heard like when you're like done it's so hard to just actually yeah, stay I, I away. couldn't imagine if you were like at the top top like the Kobe Bryant yeah. and guys like that yeah you know, just those guys done are, yeah but you just get in a habit you're so used to training and practicing you know mm-hmm. funnel and I, I like to work out a lot now, so I kind of find all that energy. Yeah. So is it hard? So is it hard, like coaching and like maintaining like a family life and coaching like during the season? Is that yes. like a really hard thing to balance? I think. Yeah, I, well, I bet my wife could answer that better. <laughs> say, yes, it's really hard, but I, I think so. I think um, it's just you know it's just it's just tough because basketball is such a long season. And yeah, football. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I know it's a grind for, but basketball has so many games, you know, you can have yeah. two or three games a week and you're starting in like October, yeah. you're going all the way through yeah. to almost, you want to play hopefully the spring break. The yeah. state tournament Especially with Maguire, you know, the summer ball, we have to do right when we get back and, <laughs> and everything, you know what I'm saying, all that stuff, you know, you so got, it's all year. You got he really puts in the time. No one he does, say man. Nobody not, really understands. No one can say he doesn't put in the time and the effort. So right. he puts in the time and he does a great job. He runs a great program. Uh, and um, sometimes we'll get that practice schedule on. You He's see, like six to nine. <laughs> like Chris was great six to no, nine. That's six to nine at that time. It's not wasted time. It's yeah, time that's, that we're doing true. stuff. Yeah. So it's not like you're just wasting. So it actually goes. It, yeah, it kind of goes. I'm yeah. sure it didn't go as fast for you guys as players because y'all were running. I remember freshman and sophomore year, we went. We would practice from like two to like six. Like we would get out of school and then practice like six o'clock at night. We were all exhausted. <laughs> then they went to the they went to the in Tennessee and got to mm-hmm. watch and they was like, okay, we're gonna break down practice. So junior senior was a lot easier, but. God, well, man, about, so uh, I always remember when I was a senior, and when I was in college, I played for two different coaches, so mm-hmm. it was different. But when I was a senior in high school, by the time I got to be a senior, you seem like you heard every speech. Yeah. Does it feel like that's kind of yeah, like yeah, when like Jamar, well, yeah, like when Jamar was saying something like, man, he's been saying that for four years, <laughs> or like you know, Maguire. I always wonder if that's what the players are thinking. Yeah, I'm just like, oh man, come on, <laughs> like come on, man. I, I, I feel like they don't listen to me when I talk. Yeah, to but them. man, senior went by so fast. It goes man. fast. Yeah, it went by fast. It feels like, like you can blink. You're a freshman. And yeah, because yeah. I remember when Colin, and Justin, and all that, and I was just fighting for a spot like every day at practice, and then, like looking back, I was like, dang, like that went by quick. I uh, my favorite year in college and in high school was my junior year, and I just for me in high school because there was no pressure like you I felt yeah. like you figured it out by then yeah but you weren't worried about college at that point yeah. same with college you figured it out I kind of got to that point where I was this is how I got to play the game this is what I got to do and uh, you kind of figure it out and then the time you're a senior it feels more pressure yeah like you're thinking what am I going to do when I graduate college yeah. or what am I going to do right, after high right, school right, right. so you feel a little bit more pressure yeah. did it seem like that for you a little bit mine no. mine was probably my senior year especially basketball wise it was a little stressful I, yeah I agree it was a little more stressful mm-hmm. trying to pick a school but seniors I think was I put it all together because I would have really good scoring games during the year but I would look at the stat I would have like yes, three sweet. rebounds I would have like 28 <laughs> 30 points three rebounds two assists like yeah. it just wasn't then senior year, I kind of put it all like together. You had a you had a great senior year. Yeah, so junior year I did good. Sophomore year, I really couldn't play defense. They oh they killed me on defense. So junior year, you know, I kind of picked up. You know what I'm saying? And then senior year, that's when I was just you and really, Sam were really tough Sam, to stop. Yeah, yeah. What's the scout? I, I was no. What was the scout I, report? I think I actually have that scout report on my computer somewhere. Dang, you know, I've always wondered. Like, what uh, the yours was, was you know you got to make him go right. Yeah, obviously right. Yeah, you, know, you can go right, but we knew you were left and we. Big thing for you, I thought, was to keep you off the board. Seems like yeah. you're always getting second chance points. Yeah, you know you're gonna get your points because you know you're a good scorer. But we just couldn't keep you off the board, and uh, my guys couldn't keep you from going left. You yeah. catch it and go left real quick. And, yeah, uh, you gotta be quick. It's hard to stop. And Sam, I, I do remember I had in the scouting report. You know, he was big, y'all were the top two players, so you gotta you can't let these guys feed off of the team feeds off of them. But I remember Sam said, 
to not let him flop. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 do I think call it, yeah. Back. But he smiles and he's so nice. I think he he's a great player. The, the rest, that was good, the man. rest always, I think we're more willing to call fouls for him because he's, he's such so, a personal yeah, guy. You know what yeah. I mean? He's such a, and he's little too, so yeah, I usually give it to the little people. Know, he knew how to work the rest. He, he really he did good, a good man. job. Yeah. Uh, we yeah we had that chemistry because we played with each other from third grade mm -hmm. on. You know oh, what I'm saying? So well, yeah, we, you could tell when we played you guys. You yeah, had a good. We had a good team good last year. Man. Yeah, we had a good team. So here's the bonus the bonus segment. I do it everybody. A bonus segment. Yeah, I did a bonus segment with everybody. Okay. So the first question is how has the last dance kind of like how like how's that just like you doing like the memories like how's that coming back? Oh, when you're talking about I, yeah, man, like, I'm, I was the biggest Jordan fan. Ever so, for me, you know that last season I watched every game. But you're getting behind the scenes, yeah. How competitive this guy was. Yeah. So to me, that was awesome. You always hear these things, but you don't know. I mean, I'm a guy who watched, you know, all those playoff series, and I would just be devastated if they lost. Right, 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 right. So you're saying, how did it affect me? Yeah. As far as like, yeah, just like I watching just, it now, like, is it like, oh, I'm 18 again, 17? You know? <laughs> it brings back a lot of memories, but it's just kind of. To me, it's kind of inspiring to see somebody who worked that hard to yeah. put that time in. Yeah. I, I'm a big Jordan fan. What about you? Yeah, it's crazy. you didn't live through that. Right. Is it weird for you? Yeah, it is kind of weird getting to see. Are you a LeBron fan? Yeah. I'm, Do you yeah, feel like yeah. Jordan you is better my, You see my room. You yeah. Feel, he, I think he, so. Just his competitive nature. He, like, he cried because he was so competitive. Did you, you know what feel I mean? that way before the documentary started? I thought LeBron could have got him because he's bigger, stronger. Do you think a lot of people your age had that swayed a lot of people? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you talk to yeah, we, on Twitter. That? I see it all the time on Twitter. They're like, yeah, I think, my God. Yeah, you know that, I mean? that episode seven, if they would just ended yeah. it there, I would yeah. like, oh, that's a wrap. It's yeah. yeah. They got me, man. Yeah, and a lot of people brought up, you know, he was leading in sprints. You know what I mean? Like, that he, was a lot of people. You know, I watched that clip a few times, and he, I think that's where he said, uh, I've never asked my teammates to do something I right, don't do. Right, right. And he was, like, just killing it in those sprints. Yeah, so. like, people don't do that. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, it's easy just to take, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes. I was like, my boy, I was like, I can go A5, 90%. You know what I mean? Like, he's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is yeah. it? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, like, Jordan, I was just, I was like, dang, I, I was like, if he can do it, you know, that's pretty much. I saw, you know I saw one of your clips on Facebook today. I don't know who you were working with, but you were doing this cool little drill. Yeah, Jamie, yeah. You were, like, ringing a bell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who that's was different. that you were working with? Uh, his name was Justin Blaylock. He mm -hmm. was, uh, Coach Francis at USA hired him in 2015 uh -huh. to do player yeah. development and stuff. So I got, I just, I never seen mutual something like that. Friend. It yeah. really cool. Yeah, it was a little different. He said it's just, you know, just a handoff coordination deal. And you know what I mean? Just, he said, it hard? It's, yeah, it took me, yeah, the video doesn't do it just, I, I messed it's up made, a lot. It looks so easy. Yeah, it, it took me a little bit. But we, we filmed the whole thing. We, we, you know, went to see like what, what I did at first because I couldn't pick up the medicine ball and dribble at the same time. And then after I kind of got it, it was, it, mm -hmm. it, it got better. And it was hot too. I was burning up. It was 95 degrees that day. But so you're going to come try Will you be able to come watch any of our girls' games or any of the boys' games next year? Yeah, especially if I go to Mackey. Hopefully, if I can find somewhere in the city to go or somewhere in Oklahoma. I'll probably When's the, when do you think you'll decide on that? Pretty soon? Probably. Yeah, in July, probably. probably and what July. if you had to, to name some goals, what would, you, what would your goals be? Goals of like a player? Just yes, like what I want to do eventually? Player, as a player for next year. Uh, for next year, obviously get to play for one. Um, I would love to be an all conference. Mm -hmm. Um, if you know, if I you know, obviously got to play and stuff, all conference probably. Then when my sophomore junior probably ho hopefully get all American. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Who's the coach there? Um, oh God, the the the, the, the assistant coach is Coach Nero. God, I forgot the the head coach's name. I've only really talked to the mm -hmm. the assistant. I haven't really talked to the head yet. So well, that's awesome. Yeah. Is but, their girls program pretty good too? Mm, yeah, they're they're not bad. So, but the boys, are, they won nationals in twenty sixteen, and then wow. they they were number one in the nation. They had a guy to uh, declare for the draft this year, the NBA draft. So when I when I watch this film, I'm looking at it right now. Are you did you just put it up a lot? You just put it just like that? Yeah. Is that gonna be, like is this going to be in there right now? Yeah, it'll be just like that. <laughs> yeah, I'll be just like that. I, you don't uh, edit anything. No. That's why I make it perfect the first technology. song. Yeah, I gotta make it perfect the first song. <laughs> Well, eventually I'll start my friends to teach me how to edit and stuff, and then I'll get like actual cameras and stuff and then do it. But You're gonna be big time. Hopefully, I mean, <laughs> hopefully. This is cool just to do, you know what I'm saying? So it's fun. So the second question is who's your Mount Rushmore of athletes? Mount Rushmore of athletes? Or, or, or basketball. It can be just athletes. So athletes, basketball. Go, Michael Jordan's on there, obviously, so I gotta have Roger Federer. That's my second. I love tennis. Uh, shout out to the Duncan Tennis team, Coach Cobble, if you're watching. Um, I love tennis, Mount Rushmore. Wow. 
Brett Favre. I love Brett Favre. I've always been a Brett Favre fan. Um, the third one, wow. That's the rest I got. Michael. Roger, Brett Favre. Golly, I, you stumped me with that one. That's a good one. Yeah, that usually uh, stumps people. Amanda didn't know. <laughs> Amanda didn't know. She was... I, got, I mean, LeBron's good, but I just can't give it to him. Me personally, I would say Tiger Woods probably. A lot of people say Tiger Woods. I, I was listening to a podcast the other day because they were talking about some of the most influential athletes, and this one guy said it was a short window frame, but he, he put Mike Tyson on there. Ooh. I've never heard that before. Me either. Uh, Tiger Woods was pretty dominant. I, I don't know. I don't know that for them. That's a good question. Yeah. Who are you for? Uh, Mike. Uh, you honestly probably Bo Jackson. You know what I mean? He Bo just, Jackson was good. Uh, gosh, there's so many of them. Um, Mount Rushmore athletes. I mean, that's a tough question. Kareem, maybe. Kareem I mean, was good. Nobody really talks about him anymore. Who did Coach McGuire put on there? He put. He. Uh, we didn't do that question, but uh -huh. he we did top five. I think LeBron was even top five. I think he said he was like top eight. So I he think. did. He did top basketball players. Yeah, he did top like? basketball. Yeah. I can't remember. He said Mike. He said Mike. I think he said Kobe, Kareem. I can't think of everybody else. He said. Were you he said affected Mike. pretty hard by Kobe's? Yeah, yeah, I was. That was that was definitely because I I loved Kobe. Were you a big Kobe fan? Yeah, I was. Yeah, I had a backpack and everything. I, uh, I like Kobe. I always kind of hated on him because he kind of emulated Jordan. But yeah. looking back, he was really good. Yeah, but yeah, looking back at it, yeah, but he was. That was sad. Just part of the, the, how it happened. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't like a stroke. Like yeah, you know, yeah. it was. It was nothing like a normal. It was so unnatural. Yeah, yeah. It was like a, a, a natural deal. And probably they shouldn't even done it. You know what I'm saying? It was weather like this. Yes. They just couldn't see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but yeah, that was bad. That was sad. That was really sad. That was a long day. <laughs> that was a crazy. That was a long that day. Was a crazy time. Um, but the last question. I have two more questions. Okay. So start bench cut. What's what? what okay. So you have to start. So you have to. So you're gonna ask me players? Yeah, three Ooh. players. You have to start them, cut them, or bench them. Okay. So Patrick Ewing, Charles Barkley, or Karl Malone, start bench cut. So I have to choose. So who you am I gonna start? Start. Who are you gonna bench? I'm gonna, gonna start bench? Charles. Who's it? Who's it? It was Patrick. Patrick and Karl Malone. Patrick Ewing and Karl Malone. Uh oh, God, man, Karl always. Uh, I'll go Karl Malone off the bench and I'll cut Patrick Ewing. Oh, you gonna cut Patrick? Yeah, I'm okay. I probably I might do the same. It's pretty tough. Yeah, it is a tough. It's yeah. a tough one. Yeah, I usually try to find, not obviously Michael Kobe LeBron. You know, yeah, I try to find like one. different ones. Charles can really score. I I, I start Charles. I got cut Patrick. Yeah. Yeah, but I think I think TNT's kind of hurt Charles. You know what I'm saying? Nobody knows how good he, he was actually so was. Good. Yeah. He, but Jordan, <laughs> man, Jordan won a lot of people getting rings, man. He. Yeah, I mean those guys were really good players. I, I didn't realize when I watched that documentary, Craig Elo hit that shot. Yeah. To put him up when yeah. you watch it. Yeah. And then, you know, like, I didn't realize that he... Right. That kind of gets lost in transition. Yeah. yeah. It was a big deal, so... But, anyway, if Ron Harper would have guarded him, you know, it might have never happened. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? So let, me get, let me guard him. But, so That's the last true. question is, how are you going to explain to the two little girls about the whole corona situation? How are you going to explain to them this, like, crazy time in history? Like, like, when they get older? When they get older, yeah. They're like, what was the corona? My seven-year-old... She just is like, she just keeps telling me it's over. We need to get back. She's tracking me up. She, she, she just kind of hears bits and pieces when we talk about it. My 17 month old, I do, I'll just have to like get out a book and tell her about it because she will have no idea. She yeah, doesn't right. know any better. She right. just knows she's not going to daycare. We're not going to work right now. I mean, that'll be just looking back at this whole two, 2020 right now. This is crazy, yeah. This is going to, I mean, I don't think I'll ever forget this. Right. Was it weird having to not go back to school? Or yeah. Not? Well, yeah, because I, I After mean, spring break? I mean, for me, it's just. It was I'm weird. so, like, do the same thing every yeah, day. It was a hard adjustment it, for me. It was weird for me because I really didn't even get the chance to really go to Tabor a whole lot mm -hmm. because we took the two months break then, so my grandpa had the stroke and I got in that car accident. So I stayed out longer. You know what I mean? That's, mm -hmm. why, I was, that's why I was here for so long. And then, yeah. Yeah. then as soon as I, then we came back, I came back February 4th, and I think March 5th, Corona happened, so I really wasn't even there like the whole time. So you were out. I was out. I was out for most of the time I was in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's so, so weird. It's it was weird that, time. this. Yeah, freshman year has definitely been a weird. My daughter really misses the you know the school. She misses her friends. That's that the teacher friend yeah, that drove through. Yeah. So she misses. Yeah. She misses that that connection with the kids. So that's been. I don't know how to explain it. That's it's. I just wanted to get over. I want to see it better and get back yeah. to normal and. Hopefully we get to get play sports. So we don't know about scheduling and yeah, they're supposed to, as far as I know, they're supposed to let us know something June first that we're kind of all 
kind of waiting. We just want everybody to be safe, yeah. you know, everybody. Because our football might, like, push back, like, yeah. a lot. And I don't know. I don't know how any of that works. I, I really hope they can get back to normal because I think it, you know, it just hurts everything. But, like I said, you got to be safe. Yeah, Make sure true. everything's take, everybody's taken care of. I can imagine that having no sports, especially in high school. Oh, like, I, can I can't deal with it now. Yeah, so it's especially for, like, the next year. I'm yeah. hoping the NBA gets to start pretty soon. Yeah, they are they reopen some of their facilities, I'm so, say, so. I'm hoping that that uh, – with like fanless, though, it's gonna be so weird watching them play. I think when I was in Spain, I was playing in a real, the, the lower league. When I was there, they had two young players who were like high school age, uh, Marcus Sol and Rubio, were playing in the top league in Spain. Dang, that's crazy. They were like 14 or 16 or something like that. Dang. Yeah, and they were, they were playing young, and I remember hearing about those kids, like, who are these kids? I could watch them. They were really good, but they were in the top league. I was in the bottom yeah. league. And they are playing in the top league, and they were so young. At 16. Yeah, they were tearing it up, and I, I don't know when they came over to, to get drafted. I don't know Ricky came late. I yeah, he played Ricky over, he didn't play forever, and at yeah. a young age, he was so good. He might not even, he's like, he was young, though, over there playing. Oh, I can't remember how young, uh, but That's I remember really those guys over there, and he plays for Phoenix now. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I remember those guys over there playing. But yeah, I couldn't imagine playing without fans. That would yeah, be, that would be weird. I mean, because like people don't understand who don't play. Like you need the fans. Like especially if you're down and you get a bug they're just screaming. They just kind of picks it up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If you. It was my wife's. I think my wife's senior year at Eisenhower. But they had a game. At, it was either it was at the Coliseum. That's when they had a lot of the Eisenhower game at the Col and a lot of the Eisenhower game at the Coliseum. And something went off, and they thought it was a gun, so they emptied out the whole place, and they made them play the game without any fans. Oh, I couldn't imagine. I'm and, like, I was. always wonder, like, what if a guy had like 70 points that game? Right. You're a pleasure beater, and no one's there. Yeah, nobody you, was there. He's like, oh, <laughs> like, nobody's there. Yeah, you feel so upset. I always wonder. Like, oh, I feel bad for those guys that had to do that. But I remember that was a big deal when that happened. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. But thanks for having me. Of course. So it was fun. How long? This will probably be... 36, 37 minutes. This is probably the least viewed one, but... <laughs> no, I was, it's fun to talk about this stuff, so. It's fun, man. I really enjoy so, it. So who do you have next? What's the next schedule for um, you guys? Andy. Andy. Uh, Andy oh, Martin. he's got some good stories. And what's the news next after that? Andy. Uh, I'm actually going to be Jocelyn. Really? That would be do, the most viewed one. Yeah, I just to do her, just her little eight, I can't eight-year-old wait to basketball. Um, I'm trying to get my mom to do it because everybody yeah, wants to hear I've her. heard stories, but I don't know enough. I've heard that they were like, their basketball team. High yeah, school, they, um, yeah, they, Melvin, the, you know, Melvin Jones, he, mm-hmm. he did the stats. I they were amazing. Yeah, he said they all ended up playing college. Uh, Trisha went to TCU. Mom went to Oklahoma Christian for the first year. Really? Um, God, I can't remember, but they all went somewhere. How far did they go their their senior year? They made it to the. I think they made it. I think runner up maybe. In maybe. state? Yeah. Really? Because my but mom got kicked out. She punched. She punched like you know you say good game, good game. Uh-huh. She punched somebody, and then that was a whole big fight. And, and you think she'll talk about that on the? Oh, I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna bring it what up. She say no. I'm talking about that. Yeah, I, I, you know, we talked about it like two weeks ago, and she was like, "Oh, we can talk about it." <laughs> she was like, "I don't know her." <laughs> well, I'm know watching that one. But yeah, everybody says I should get her. Like everybody. That'd be good. So, yeah, just um, uh, okay. I have Marcus Smart's number because my my really? uncle, my uncle is his dad's brother. So is this something you're gonna try to continue? To yeah, do even in, even in college. So, if, so like, you're wherever I go, keep it yeah, wherever I go, I'll just be like, hey, teammate edition. This is so and so. Yeah, I'll just. Well, keep you have to promise home. to have me back on sometime. Yeah, especially during the year. Especially yeah, I'd love to come yeah. on and talk about the season. Yeah, especially like six months from catch now. Catch up on you. Hopefully, you're doing well. Yeah, it's your school. So. I'm like, no, I'm not playing. <laughs> 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 I'm not playing. But thanks for having of me. Of course, man. So. Look.